I started asking questions because I had a lot of concerns back um, late April, early May, and I requested to get a mammogram. Um, the mammogram came back and I was referred over for um, the surgeon to take a biopsy. The surgeon denied the biopsy um, because he felt like I would just be getting a biopsy and I would be in pain. Um, we went back and forth for months and finally I um, forced the door open all the way and was diagnosed in November. I, I like to know things about my health and my diagnosis, but oftentimes even when I bring information back, I feel like it's downplayed as if it's not um, vital information. Um, and so I often feel like I get ran the runaround. It actually was pretty scary because I also um, have a mother who was diagnosed. Um, I have children who could possibly be diagnosed. God be willing that that never happens. But if I'm fighting the door open to get care, it lets me know that I should be in fear for my other fellow African-American sisters and even brothers because they can also end up with cancer. I think all of us should keep in mind as providers that patients know themselves pretty well and that we should be paying close attention to what they have to say about their health and well-being. It sounds like Sharita was worried that things were abnormal and rightfully pursued the care that she needed. I applaud her for her courage and her willingness to do that. Uh, I think it's also important to remember that sometimes if you fundamentally don't feel that you can get the attention that you need from a provider, that there are plenty of other providers out there and one should feel free to seek a second opinion. I also like the way Sharita talked about the need for to advocate for her own health and to keep herself informed about her own health. Good for her that she's out reading about what's going on with her situation, that she's attending to her medical records and keeping abreast of what's going on with her treatment, and that she's therefore able to be a full partner in her care. I think Sharita's experience also reminds us that not everybody has the equitable approach and the equitable access to healthcare in the way that we would want. There's no question that we have seen both implicit and explicit bias in healthcare across the United States. I certainly hope that uh, we will see ever less of this because cancer is an equal opportunity to disease and every single person deserves access to state-of-the-art care for their malignancy or for their other healthcare problems.